welcome back dear learners i hope you all are fine educational conversation has various words that relate to the general task of judging the merits of a person judging the worth of a curriculum or the value of a work or the merit of a program this includes evaluating measuring examining assessing testing marking scoring grading and so on such words are often confusing as one's testing is another's assessing one's grading is another's marking however these words are not synonymous at all today we will go through the concept of the test measurement evaluation and assessment let us first discuss about the test test means an instrument to be used for accurate measurement for anything it's a specific tool or a procedure used to draw out the response from the students in order to gain the information it's a tool or an instrument of measurement that's used to obtain the data about a specific trait or the characteristic it's a technique used to measure the performance skill level knowledge of a learner the test may be a single question or it may be a set of questions it may be an investigation used to measure a particular characters of a particular person or a group of persons it roughly specifies information concerning one's ability uh, capability understanding performance as well as the success of a person in the words of nico tests are systematic procedures for assessing the person describing them with either a numerical scale or a category system thus the tests may give the quantitative or the qualitative information the tools may testing tools may be written it may be oral it may be mechanical and so on there are some characteristics that the test should have the test should be reliable it should be valid it should be objective in nature it must accomplish with the norms and it should have educational value reliability means the test should have consistency of scores and validity means it should major it should major what it is designated to major and objectivity means that uh, every examiner should give same score we will uh, go through them in next uh, like upcoming lectures then after this there is measurement measurement is uh simply it's the assignment of the numbers measurement is not new concept to you people as we have already discussed it in the last lecture about the measurement and evaluation we can measure the height of a person we can measure the weight of a person we can measure the achievement of a person it's a process of collection of data on the properties or the attributes of interest during the administration of a test or by some administra or by some other reliable source of measurement takes place it's the gathering of the uh, information in the numerical form it's the documentation of presentation of the data that's required for the decision making that is evaluation as i have already told you in previous lecture measurement has the range of tools tests or the rating scales now act of finding dimensions of any object and the quality found by each act is the measurement in the now it has been written in the international dictionary of education there are some characteristics of measurement also measurement is the it's quantitative in nature measurement must be held by an accurate and perfect instrument 
it must be reliable also it must be valid also and it must be objective in nature also now this is the measurement next we have the evaluation evaluation is the process of obtaining and providing useful information for decision uh, for judging decision alternatives evaluation uh, takes place in every walk of life in one or the another form the aim of life may be lost if evaluation is removed from it only because of evaluation we can distinguish between good or bad between worthy or unworthy the cycle of the development revolves around the process of evaluation evaluation plays an important role in the teaching learning process it helps teachers to improve the uh, teaching learning and it's a, it's also the continuous process evaluation has uh, two steps first comparison of the collected data that was collected in the measurement with the with some standards or the norms and second step is decision making on the basis of those findings evaluation becomes a process for judging how effective the educational experience has been for the learners value judgment on observation performance test is needed need indeed a need data whether inferred or directly measured the major is evaluated by placing a meaning on the relative to a standard or a norm this has been written in the diction international dictionary of education now the measurement has also some characteristics measurement uh, sorry evaluation is the organ organized procedure evaluation is a continuous and dy dynamic process evaluation is judgment making process it is based upon the information taken from the tests it emphasizes on the main objectives of the educational programs now there is last term in our uh, this that is assessment assessment is the process of gathering information to make informed decisions assessment is the process by which uh, proof of the learner achievement is attained and assessed it is information gained in relation to the objectives it includes testing it includes uh, in frank and listing the information of the environment it's a process of collecting data or arranging the data it uh, stands as the base for the uh, judgment process that is the evaluation it includes the methods of evaluating the nature of the student what and how in what way he has learned in education the process by which one attempts to measure the quality and the quantity of the learner learning is using various assessment techniques uh, assignments projects continue assessment objective tests is the assessment assessment has correct following characteristics it's multidimensional uh, it must be reliable it must be valid it must be objective in nature also it is value laden process now there are some principles of the assessment assessment must address the objectives uh, learning objectives and the curricular goals keeping in view all the three domains that is cognitive affective and psychomotor domain it must provide effective opinion on teaching process record of the assessment must be kept the results of the assessment must be in, uh, interpreted and communicated meaningfully um, the assessment must be reliable valid usable and fair next the purpose of measurement and uh, testing is it has the uh, instructional purpose it has the curricular purpose it has the selection purpose it has the placement purpose it has personal purpose 
what's an instructional purpose the test is given to measure the learners improvement in any subject whether we have gained that very particular objective or not the curricular purpose is uh, when the test is given at uh, the time of making a judgment about the institution about the curriculum the selection purpose is when the test is given to uh, the learn to uh, to assess the learner's capability as well as appropriateness to enter any school or any college or any university it is like the entrance test that uh, we do before uh, entering in any university or in any profession placement purpose the test is given to the group of the learners consisting of below average or average or genius or to the it, the group may be the homogeneous it may be the heterogeneous in nature the personal purpose is the test uh, assists the person to make the sensible judgment about themselves uh, these may be a uh, personal inventory tests aptitude tests or any other standard tests i hope you have got today's lecture i will be back with the new lecture soon till then take care of others stay safe stay healthy stay motivated and stay tuned to the channel